It said that dogs are man's best friend. And of course, I agree with that. I have my own dogs, I love them. But if you really put in effort and know how to do it, you really get a lot more out of the dog. So, a little about myself, to convince you I know what I'm talking about. I have trained both my German Shepherds. I have trained them since they were puppies. I've also trained my friends' dogs, because they all know I know how to train dogs. So, they asked me to train the dogs. And a lot of people say, you know, I don't want to train a dog because I don't find it that important. But I think it's very important. It's important because, first of all, the one thing I like to do with my dogs, I like to bring them out. I like to bring them out to the stores. Like, I know North 40 is, allows dogs to walk around. And if you don't have a dog that's well-behaved, you're not going to want to bring them out. Another thing is common behavior problems. Another, and one thing that I know I really don't like is dogs jumping on me, especially with a big dog, like a German Shepherd. So if you train them, you can get rid of that behavior problem. And generally, it's just a better experience to have a well-behaved dog. So here's some equipment that you'll need. First of all, obviously, a collar is important, as is a leash. Now, I just have a normal leash here, but there's a, they have this thing called a choker leash, or a choker sure. collar, excuse me. So essentially, that is when you, it's like a chain. And when dogs, it's used for training because when dogs pull on it, it chokes them a little bit. It doesn't like choking so that they can't breathe but it, they feel it, so that's supposed to make it so they don't like to pull on the leash. I don't use that, I don't really find a need for it, but if you want to use that, that's there. So these are obviously you need training treats. Now, a lot of people don't pick the right treats. They have to be certain qualifications to be a good training treat. They have to, first of all, be, I'll show you. They have to be small, because you want dogs to just pop them like pills. You, want, you, don't, want to have, you don't want them to have to spend time eating it. And also, you want them to be soft, because if they're not soft, when dogs eat, if it's hard, they're going to look down, and you want them to maintain eye contact with you, so that you're going to want to have them as soft. So here's some you know, fundamentals for when you train a dog. So when you're training a dog, and when you give the command not training the dog, I'll use this. However you hold it, however you hold the treat, I hold it like this with three fingers, you're going to want to do that all the time, because essentially you're going to trick them into thinking you have a treat in your hand even when you don't. So when you agree to command, you go like this. Also, an important thing with dog training is persistence. So a dog usually, unless it's a simple command like sit, they're not going to get it the first time. So you're going to keep, keep trying it, keep trying it. And then when it clicks, then they start doing it, but they're probably not going to do it for a few times. Also, different dogs and different dog breeds will learn differently. As a general rule, bigger dogs tend to be better for training and tend to learn better. So here's some basic commands. You don't have to do it in this specific order, but I do recommend doing it in this order. So obviously, as you can all see, I don't have a dog with me, but just use your imagination. So there's sit, which I think is the best command to do first because it's really easy. Dogs just instantly know how to do this. You're essentially just going to do like this with the treat above their head, and you're going to make them look back, like up at it, because that will make them sit instantly. And then obviously give them the treat when they're done with all the things. Another one is come. So with this one, you just want to do wide sweeping movements. When they know how to do it, then you can make it smaller movements. Like I just go like this. But when you start training, you want to do wide sweeping movements, really exaggerate it. And then when they come, what you're going to do is like grab the collar. And that's how they know that they come and you give them a treat. Um, another one is lay down. I highly recommend doing sit before you lay down. So you give them sit, but you already know. And then you go lay down, you go on the ground. And hopefully they'll lay down with their paws on each side and give them treat. Another one is to stay. That's a uh, word. Stay is another basic command. You essentially just want to get them to sit or lay down or stand. You can do stand, either one. But I like to sit and you just put it behind your back and you walk away. And you're going to want to make sure that they don't follow you, obviously. And also, when you come back, and a lot of things dogs do, when they when you start walking back, they're going to come to you. You want to make sure that they can stay. And then you give them the treat, and then they can move. But not until you give them the treat and say it's OK. Some advanced commands. There's rollover, which is the easiest of the more advanced commands. You have them laid out. And dogs are instantly going to, obviously, lean on one side. And whatever side they're leaning on, that's the side you're going to want to make them roll over to. So if they're leaning on their right side, you're going to want to go like this over them and they're hopefully they'll roll on their back. And again if they're leaning on the left side, go like this. It's like a it's like a half circle. Um, another command is to retrieve something. This one's very hard. I recommend teaching this to a dog that really is getting all the other commands. And it's hard because not because they're not gonna get it, 
Because if you throw something to them, you'll usually try and get it. That's just how they are. And you're gonna throw it, but the hard part is they grab it and then they just walk away. Like they're not interested in you, they just wanna walk away. So you have to make sure that they come to you and then you give them a treat. So you don't give them a treat if they're not coming directly to you first. Um, another plan is to catch something. And by that, I don't mean, by that I mean, what I do is I throw them and they have to catch them. The trick with this, it's really simple, obviously, is get them to sit, throw a dog, throw a treat at them. And the trick to this is, if they don't get it, you can't let them eat it. So if they catch it, they eat it, that's great, fine, they get it. But if they don't catch it, you have to make sure you step on it, run over really quick, and step on a treat and make sure they don't eat it, because if they eat it, they'll just learn that that's how they do it. So there are also, of course, lots of tricks and lots of commands and general things that you can teach a dog. But in general, if you're willing to put the effort in and also have the skills to be able to do it, that's really how you get the most out of your dog. And I really recommend doing